Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about distance and displacement and difference between them. Please make sure you watch kinematics part 1 to part 4. Link is given below in description box. What is distance? Distance is the total length of path traveled by the object. And what is displacement? Displacement is the straight length between starting and end points. Let's take an example. Suppose a person starts from point A and travels to the point B. He traveled 10 km from point A to point B. So, length of the path traveled by the object is the distance. So, here distance would be 10 km. And then we have to find the displacement. Displacement is the straight length between starting and end point. So, first figure out starting and end point. A is the starting point and B is the ending point. So, straight length, this length is the 10 km. So, 10 km is the value of the length. Displacement is a vector quantity. It includes value plus direction of motion. So you can see person is traveling to the point B means direction is towards B point or ending point. So direction would be towards east. So displacement includes direction also and direction is east. So this is the difference between distance and displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity. It only shows the value of the length while displacement shows value plus direction of the motion. Let's take another example. Suppose a person starts from A and travels 10 meter to east and then 5 meter to south and then again 10 meter to west and stops at point B. Distance is total length of path. So we have to add up all the lengths like 10 meter, 5 meter and then 10 meter. Uh, just keep in mind distance does not include direction so we don't have to put negative sign just we have to add up all the distances 10 plus 5 plus 10 that would be 25 meters and then we have to find the displacement so definition is straight length between starting and end points so starting point is the A and ending point is the B so a straight line would be like this. So length of this straight line which is 5 meter. So 5 meter would be the value of displacement. Direction would be towards end point because person displaced from A to B. So it would be towards end point. So direction is south. So displacement would be 5 meter to south. There is another definition of displacement which is change in position. So change in position is also called as displacement. Like if we know the positions of starting point and ending point, we just we need to subtract them. Here xf is the position of final point or ending point and xi is the position of initial point or starting point. So if we know the position of A and B here, we will just subtract the position of point B from position of point A and that will give us the displacement. So let's take an example for this definition. Here suppose if a person starts from origin and moves 4 meter up to the point B. Then he returned to point C and traveled 2 meter. So let's find the distance here. Distance is total length without including any sign. First he traveled 4 meter and then he traveled 2 meters. So 4 plus 2 that will be 6 meters and then find the displacement. What we have to do here? Here position of a starting point is 0, position of B is 4 and position of C is 2. So we can use xf minus xi. So here final point is C and position of C is 2. And initial point is origin and its position is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. So displacement is 2 meters here. You can also find using length 
सो स्ट्रेट लाइन बिटवीन ओ एंड सी एंड डायरेक्शन टूवर्ड्स एंडिंग पॉइंट द लेंथ ऑफ दिस स्टेट लाइन इज टू मीटर्स सो डिसमेंट इज टू मीटर एंड डायरेक्शन इज टूवर्ड्स ईस्ट नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज सपोज ए पर्सन स्टार्ट पॉइंट ए एंड मूव अराउंड पाथ कम्स बैक टू इट्स ओरिजिनल पोजिशन ही ट्रेवल्ड टोटल फोर हंड्रेड मीटर्स सो द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द पाथ इज फोर हंड्रेड मीटर्स सो डिस्टेंस विड बी फोर हंड्रेड मीटर्स बट डिसमेंट वुड बी जीरो बिकॉज स्टार्टिंग एंड एंडिंग पॉइंट आर सेम एंड लेंथ बिटवीन दैम इज जीरो सो डिसमेंट वुड बी जीरो हेयर so let's find distance and displacement when lengths are given suppose a person starts from a point and then he traveled 3 meters to west and then 4 meters to north up to point b so he traveled from a to b so distance would be 3 plus 4 which is 7 meters and displacement would be straight line between a and b and its direction would be towards b now we have to find the length of this line for that we will use pythagoras theorem so this is a this one is b and we have to find c so pythagoras theorem is c square equals a square plus b square that will give us 3 square plus 4 square so c square equals 25 so c equals 5 meter so value of the length is 5 meter so for direction we have to find this angle theta so for that we will need to use the tan so you know tan theta equals opposite over adjacent that means 4 by 3 so tan theta equals 4 by 3 so theta equals tan inverse 4 by 3 so that will give us theta equals 53 degree so our displacement would be 5 meter angle is 53 degree north west this direction is north west let's take one more example next is finding distance and displacement when positions are given so here a person starts from point a position of point a is 0 then he travel up to the position of 4 then turns back and then travels to the origin and then in the negative direction up to the minus 3 position then he turns back and moves up to the position of minus 2 so here positions are given so to find the distance we will add up all the distances first he traveled 4 meter 0 to 4 is the 4 meter then again 4 to 0 he traveled 4 meter then 0 to minus 3 we will not put minus sign here only 3 meters and then minus 3 to minus 2 that is 1 meter only 3 minus 2 that is 1 meter only so 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 that will give us 12 meters let's find the displacement so we will use the formula xf minus xi that means position of end point or final points minus position of initial point or starting point so final point or end point is b which is minus 2 position of b is minus 2 and starting point or initial point is a and its position is 0 minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 minus sign here shows the direction which is towards left our displacement vector would be like this from origin to minus 2 so 2 meter towards left I hope you understand this topic here in the following video we will discuss about average velocity and instantaneous velocity so stay tuned and study more don't forget to subscribe for daily updates thank you